So I got a, uh, the other day I got into this argument. I don't, I don't even know what it has to do with the political website or uh, a guy that's supposedly in politics or anything like that. I, I really don't know. But uh, I, I happened to speak about God and it got, got a, you know, led into a debate of uh, really something that doesn't make any sense to me. And it turned into one of those arguments again. And I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to rip it. Stick around. And now we interrupt, disrupt, and crash this station. The man fighting for peace, his legacy, truth in a sea of stupid. Filtered for your sarcastic enjoyment, go Getter. First, before I get into it, let me give you a couple here. Because it's written all over the Bible. 1 Peter one twenty five. But the word of the Lord endures forever, and this is the word that was preached to you. 1 Thessalonians 2.13. And we also thank God continually because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as a human word, but as it actually is the word of God, which is indeed the work in you who believe. He writes, uh, for 2 Peter 3.16, he writes the same way in all his letters, speaking in them of these matters. His letters contain some things that are hard to understand, which ignorant and unstable people distort as they do other scriptures to their own destruction. 2 Timothy 2.15, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Okay, let's see, got more here. Uh, Isaiah fifty five eleven. so is my word that goes out of my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent. I sent it. John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So, you know, we can go on and on and on forever, even in Revelation uh, 1, 2. Who testifies that everything he saw, that is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. So on and so on and so on. You get the point. So I got into this argument again, and this is not the first time I heard this. I hear this from people that believe in ghosts or believe in the paranormal, believe what ghosts tell them. There was two arguments to this. One, of course, I hear this all the time. It was written by man. Man wrote the Bible. And two, all religions are different. There's religions over here. There's religions over there. Blah, 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 blah. First of all, I explained to them that there are thousands of religions, but there are false religions out there. False. They're not here to preach what God says. They're here to preach the opposite. They are made to confuse and to rattle your brain so you don't know the truth of what's going on out there. You want to eliminate most of your religions? I will right off the bat right now. First of all, if you celebrate pagan holidays and the religion celebrates pagan holidays, bam, those are, you might as well write those off immediately. If you're, a, if you're a religion that does not follow the Bible, even though you do say you follow the Bible, then you might as well write those off immediately if you celebrate pagan holidays because in the Bible it says not to. In several places in the Bible, God um, is against witchcraft, pagan holidays, playing with divination tools, uh, mediums, psychics, you name it, things like that. So if, and of course we have a lot of people that I've went after in the paranormal several times that were claimed to be ministers, claimed to be priests, claimed to be fathers, but they promoted psychics. They promoted mediums. Some of them even had, even had mediums and psychics in their ghost group. These were ministers that claimed they were doing exorcisms, the like, blah, 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 blah. In the first place, if you're following the Bible the way you're supposed to, you know that you're not supposed to do that. So that eliminates them altogether. 
you would actually eliminate thousands of religions doing this. I've explained to them there are several, when they say there are thousands of different religions out there, and each one of them claim that they're the truth. Well, and I said, do you follow the Bible? The ones that follow the Bible are supposed to follow the Bible and actually do it the way they're supposed to do it are the ones uh, I would break it down to basically that. That's why I only believe in what the Bible says and not what most religions or any of these religions are saying. Now, again, they said thousands of religions or some in India and Tibet, and they believe in Buddha. I said, again, I just told you twice, there are thousands of false religions out there not meant to preach or teach you the truth. It's the opposite. Satan is cunning. He's devious. He creates things or stories. He creates images. He creates entire, you know, fake autobiographies of things that don't exist intentionally so you do not know the truth of and actually what is going on in the world he does this if you can't understand that then there's something mentally wrong with you okay so they come up with you know how can you believe that you know what was written by man and they bring it up more religions again and i said you know what i'm done talking to you because i've said it three times false religions obviously you're not getting it you're not understanding it because you didn't hear a word I said, so I'm done talking to you. And they said, ditto, ditto. So basically, that's, you know, they they want to run on ignorance. That's fine with me. If they want to be atheists, that's up to you. One day you're going to find out on your own the hard way. If if you want to sit and believe what you want to believe, that's that's fine. If you want to do what you want to do, that's fine. I'm not telling you you can't. But I'm telling you... If a person out there is claiming to be in religion or claiming to be a part of God or this or that or this or that, if you claim to hold that Bible in your hand, but you still do things that he said not to do, then you're not following your true religion. You're not following the word of God. You know, I, I, I'm i a sinner. They're a sinner. Everybody's a sinner. I'm not saying that. People don't sin because they do. Everyone does. I'm saying if you know it's in there and you know you're not supposed to be celebrating it and you still do by following that religion and you know who you are, then it's a false religion. Nowhere in the Bible does it say Christ created the Easter bunny. But the purpose is pagan holidays are not supposed to be celebrated because God is against it. And that's that. Let's go to two, you know, the word of God, which I brought up several times. The Bible has been passed down through generations, through generations and generations, thousands of years. Now, we are in society where man can't tell a story. If someone tells a person a story in their ear, they can't tell the same story to another person. As you go down five, six people, the stories are going to change. My mother just went to the store and bought some milk and socks. Go tell a friend. Okay, I'll tell him. He said his father went to the store and bought some milk and some socks. Okay, I'll tell him. He said his cousin went to the store and bought some socks and a dress. Okay, I'll tell him. He went to the store with his brother, and, and by the time the story gets down there, it's totally not what it says. The Bible hasn't changed through thousands of years. There is man that has changed it because they're not supposed to change it. That's where we get false religions. That's where that comes because they don't like what it's being said in there. They they can't stand it, so they change it themselves. We have a lot of people in society now that don't accept what it says, so they'll tear that part out or they'll skip over it and just go to the ones that they like. You can't do that. I'm sorry, but you can't do that. So, I showed you plenty of times where it says the word of God is the one spoken from him. If the thing doesn't change through thousands of years through man, supposedly man writing it, where do you think these words come from? It hasn't changed. 
So that's the argument so far on that. And speaking of stories, we want to talk about something being made up uh, by how, how cunning Satan can be. If you, if you look at the picture of Christ, the Bible explains Christ does not look at what everybody has been posting photos of or writing. You know, we go down, it's funny, we've gone down thousands of years with a picture of Christ it's supposed to be and it hasn't changed at all. You would think man, if, if it came from man, this is another version. If it came from man, just like Garfield, just like the Simpsons, over the years, the picture's been drawn. It's been slightly different and it's changed. We're talking over thousands of years. That's over, what, 30 years that the Simpsons been around. We're talking thousands of years and the picture of Christ hasn't changed at all. In the Bible, it does not say that Christ is skinny with long hair. It does not surprise me that Satan put it put that picture there for everyone to believe that's what he actually looks like. He had short hair and he was stocky. He was also his skin was his darker. So and and besides that, if if Christ was a carpenter, he would not be skinny. At being out in that heat in the Middle East in hundred and two hundred degree weather. Um, as a carpenter, I think you would be a lot stronger, a lot bigger, and look a lot uh, rougher than uh, some smooth-shaven, uh, you know, goatee and long hair um, kind of thing. Come on. It's not like he had a job for a week and said, you know what, I'll go do something else for a living. Um, so uh, it, 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 if you read it like you're supposed to read it, you will understand that is not how he's supposed to look. Among other things as well. But it does not surprise me if Satan created that image. How do I know this? Because, it, like I said in one of my other videos, if you notice, you look at every time somebody draws a devil or a demon, he's always stocky, big, tough-looking, fangs, intimidating, very intimidating, scary. So you'll be frightened of him. But when you look at angels, they're always weak. You know, little babies with bows and arrows, real skinny, don't look like they could fight worth a worth a flip. Uh, the Bible explains that does not angels do not look like that either. Uh, some of them can be nine feet, ten feet tall. Uh, so uh, it is not surprise me if that image wasn't created by something either. If God can create words, and God can can create things then I am sure that Satan can put things in people's heads as well. Think about this. Do you think they look like that before God cast them out of heaven? Do you think they look like... Um, how do you think they became what they became to look sinister, stocky, evil, red, uh, and all this other stuff? How do you think they wound up that way bef after they were kicked out of heaven or you know, God kicked them out? So they became that way after God kicked them out? What did they look like before that? So I'm not buying that, you know, they were skinny, they were weak, and they were wimpy. Before God kicked them out, they were babies shooting bows and arrows. Um, and then God kicked them out. They became stronger, faster, uh, more tougher than ever. Really? Think about it stories and these false religions and Bob Larson kind of things and all that stuff and uh, of course we don't know what religion he's came from we don't know who ordained him we don't know where he got his experience from what he studied from we don't even know if he knows that much about the Bible except the fact he's got one in his hand and he smacks people in the head with it I don't know that much information apparently because every time we see him all we see him do is exercising people for money and of course you're not supposed to be doing things like that for money and and not to mention why would i want to go to him to get exercised if there are thousands supposedly ministers out there that would do it or fathers that do it for free so it's kind of a waste so anyway the other part i want to get into is the word of god first of all and i'm going to cut you right here Cut you up right here by saying, if you're stupid enough to say, well, I don't believe what man says, then you're a moron, okay? Because 
the first day you got in school and a teacher got over there and gave you a textbook and it was uh, science, um, English, uh, history, or mathematics, whatever they were teaching you came from man, okay? Whatever history book they gave you came from man. Whatever politician you follow is a man. Whatever anyone tells you is coming from man. So if you believe everything a person tells you, it's from man. So you cannot sit here and argue with me and tell me, I don't believe in the Bible because it came from man. When you went to school and graduated from school and possibly graduated from college, learning words that came from man. Science. Who does the science? Man did the science. Man created the science. Man figured it out by science. Man said, well, here's a theory and here's an answer. Came from man. If you don't believe God, but you believe the Big Bang Theory, where does the Big Bang Theory come from? Supposedly, it came from man. It was answered by a man. So you can't argue with me about man and all that. If you believe in watching Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventures, or anything like that on TV, and you say, well, that ghost was haunted as a little girl that said, hello there. It came from a human being. So how can you expect to believe a supposedly a human or a man that haunts a person or haunts you or haunts somebody else you know that came from a man, but you will not believe the Bible that was written by a man that came from you? Supposedly it was written by a man, so... How can you believe English? How can you believe Spanish in school? How can you believe uh, science? How can you believe the Big Bang Theory? How can you believe what your mother tells you, what your friends tell you? How can you believe that you walk into a store and it says three ninety nine? I don't believe that because it was written by man. How much is my how much is my bill? Uh, Fifty two dollars. I don't believe that because it's it, it was done by man. I'm walking out. My car is parked in section three C. I don't believe that because a man put up that 3C. What car were you driving? Ford Escort? I don't believe it was a Ford Escort because it was done by a man. We can go on this all day long. Driving home, I live on such and such street. Oh, I don't believe that because the street was created by a man. So you can't tell me that you don't believe the Bible because it was written by a man. Common sense. And you can't argue that. So it just leads me to this question. How do you know that what I see in the color red or green isn't the same color that you're seeing, red or green? Maybe my green is your red and your red is my green or vice versa, something like that. But how do you know we see the exact same colors? I say it's green. Do you say it's green? But what I'm seeing is a color that could be totally different to you. Everybody's vision is different. Everybody's hearing could be different. Everybody's speech is different. Every person's character is different. Everybody's handwriting and fingerprints are different. But it's it's just uncanny and, and amazing to me that we have words in a Bible that hasn't changed for over thousands of years. But yet it was written by man. Okay, so maybe you're right. I don't see how, but you have to explain that to me. And, of course, I'm sure I ticked off a lot of people in this video. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize, but that's just how I see it. Anyway, thanks, guys, for listening, gals and guys. I hope to see you again. I hope you don't cut me off and say, I'm not going to follow him anymore because he's a jerk. Um. But I appreciate your following and being a part of uh, the show and listening to the station and everything. Until next time, all the links are in the bottom. See ya. Hey, everybody. Don't forget to check out Reverse 96 FM on TuneIn, Streama, and now InternetRadio.com.